Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Should the Saints trade for Zach Wilson? Don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh at me before you answer. Hear me out, okay? I'm not saying give up a number one for the guy. I'm not saying make him your franchise. I'm not even saying doing it. I'm just having the conversation, okay? Sheesh. Bite my head off. All right, maybe you didn't bite my head off. But anyway, um, Cody Benjamin, who writes for CBS Sports, did a feature piece of some of the most notable players still out there who could be traded before the draft. And he mentioned Zach Wilson. And in part, he also mentioned potential suitors for these players. Like he also mentioned Chris Godwin and Matt Judon and Buda Baker and some other players like that. Well, one of the destinations for Zach Wilson he listed was the Saints, along with the Chiefs and the Rams. Now, Chiefs and Rams could make a lot of sense Go be a backup to Patrick Mahomes and Matthew Stafford, two really good veteran quarterbacks, like sit and learn. Then again, I could have made the same conversation or the same argument for being with the Jets with Aaron Rodgers. That hasn't worked out great. Um, I think the very easy thing to do with a question like that is to scoff, roll your eyes, and say, nope, next. And you might not be wrong. But one of the things that I strongly feel is that when you are an NFL team, really any professional sports franchise, but when you have an opportunity to add a player, you have to do your due diligence. If you are not doing your due diligence and at least considering the possibilities, then you are negligent because teams, Mike Dettelier taught us this for years, like nobody in the NFL ever stays the same. You are always either getting better or you are getting worse. It's, it, is a, it is a constant motion fluidity in the NFL. You never just stay the same. So you need to always be thinking, should I add that player to make me better? You don't just think in your mind, oh, great, we've got Jake Hayner and Nathan Peterman as our backup quarterbacks. We're great. No, no, no. You consider possibilities. So could Zach Wilson be a better option than the two guys that I just mentioned? And the answer is maybe. So you consider it and what it would look like and what it would cost and all those sorts of things. So... I did what I always do. I got a piece of paper, and I made a list. You can see it right here. Made a list. Zach Wilson, Saints. Line down the middle. One side pros, other side cons. And I wanted to see, would this make sense? And so let's go through the reasons why it makes sense first, okay? Number one is talent. That's the undeniable part, right? The guy went number two overall because... He's a talented player, right? Like, he had this amazing pro day. I still can see it where he threw this, like, 60-yard pass, this dime, put it in a bucket, rolling across his body. And everyone's like, oh, my God, the BYU kid who does inappropriate things with his friend's moms and wears a headband. And he goes number two overall. Um, so the talent is undeniable, and Zach Wilson is 24 years old. So to that end... Yes, like that's a huge, that's a huge, huge, huge um, check mark in the the pro column. Number two is he be cheap. I can look at recent, at examples in this off season of what highly drafted uh, quarterbacks in the NFL went for. Justin Fields was traded for a sixth round pick that could conditionally become a four. So, yeah, it would be really cheap. The Saints have four fives and two sixes this year. If you could get Zach Wilson for a six, would you do it? Ask yourself this question, what are the odds that a sixth-round pick even makes your roster? Do we see it sometimes? Sure we do. Zach Streif was a seventh-rounder. Marcus Colston was a seventh-rounder. Look, A.T. Perry was a six last year, the year before Jordan Jackson was a six. Landon Young was a six. Uh, Saquon Hampton was a six. Uh, Cameron Moore was a six. 
I mean, al Qadin Muhammad. I'm looking at six-round picks in the Saints' history. Tavon Rooks, Rufus Johnson, Andrew Tiller. These are six-round picks. You understand, like, you could get the former number two overall pick at the most important position in organized team sports for what amounts to Andrew Tiller. Okay. Like, talented kid, affordable. Check, check. Also, you wouldn't have to make a long-term commitment. Zach Wilson has one year left on his rookie deal. He's got one year left on his rookie deal, so you could bring him in for a year, see how it goes, and then make a decision. And maybe it's a guy who assimilates wonderfully and you want to commit to him, or maybe it's a total bust. It's not that dissimilar from the decision you made with Jameis. When you had Drew Brees, you brought in this guy who didn't go well with the team that drafted him, and they were looking to move on, and there was there was some production on the field, but a lot of bad stuff off, and you brought him in because you thought, let me let him sit. We bring him to a functional organization. Let him sit behind a veteran and see if you can make something out of him. It's a similar approach. I would also say look at Clint Kubiak. That's another, when I'm going through the pros versus the cons, Clint Kubiak. Got production out of Kirk Cousins in Minnesota. Now, he had Russ in Denver in 2022, but he wasn't the head coach. That was Nathaniel Hackett's offense. It was so bad, Hackett got ran out of town. And the rest of the season, when he kind of figured it out a little bit, that was Kubiak. And then Kubiak has been in San Francisco now with Brock Purdy. So in different spots with different quarterbacks, Clint Kubiak has, I, I think, is a better option than certainly what, Zach Wilson presently has, um, you know, they're in uh, with the Jets. And I guess to a lesser degree, could you say, okay, also it's an opportunity to learn from a veteran guy with Derek Carr. I don't know that necessarily Derek Carr is the guy that I want mentoring, you know, a future star. That's why when you looked at the other scenarios where you looked at a guy like Mahomes or Stafford, those seem like much better scenarios for mentorship. I don't know what Derek Carr is going to, is going to teach, uh, a young quarterback, how to wear your eyeliner and be a good citizen. I don't know. What's he going to teach him about being a quarterback? I mean, Derek Carr calls out his receivers. He he displaces blame. We've talked about Derek Carr plenty. So, look, it, but it, with the Jets, you know, the other quarterbacks on the roster there were Mike White, uh, Joe Flacco, this past year Aaron Rodgers. So, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that line up on the pros side, but most notably among them, Zach Wilson is a talented guy, talented enough to be the former number two overall pick, and talent will get you a lot of chances in the NFL. And you could get him for cheap. Considering Justin Fields was just traded for a six-round pick, I feel like you could get him for cheap. Okay, on to the cons. Number one, the biggest X on Zach Wilson's resume is he stinks. His former number two overall pick, and after three years with the team that drafted him two overall, they want to move him because he stinks. With different coaches and different coordinators and different teammates, he's just not been good. In his career, Zach Wilson has 23 touchdowns and 25 interceptions. He's completed 57% of his passes. He started 33 games. He's just not good. Uh, it, it hasn't clicked. Despite the physical ability, he has not been a good quarterback. That's number one. Number two, is it a distraction? The reason we're talking about it makes this notable, right? It's a distraction. He's the former number two overall pick. He was with the Jets, and because they're in New York, the Jets get a lot of national attention. So that's much different than even, say, you know, a, a former top five pick, that you know, a first-round pick that busted in another market. If it were E.J. Manuel, who was just on the verge of the top ten in, uh, in Buffalo. But nobody cares because it's Buffalo. You know what I mean? It's vastly different than the New York Jets. Right, wrong, or different, that's true. There's a Tebow effect to it. Maybe not like Tebow. So you're got, it would bring a lot of attention because it's Zach Wilson, and he played for the Jets. So do you want the distraction? For a team and an organization in the Saints that have valued culture so much over the years, I don't know if that's necessarily the case anymore. They can say they value it, but I don't think it really pans out. Zach Wilson hasn't been a good teammate. You know, his former teammate, Lamar Jackson, the cornerback Lamar Jackson, gave an interview where he talked about Zach Wilson being arrogant and called him not the most likable guy. Well, when your teammates are willing to say that about you, it speaks to something, basically saying when things are good, he's a good teammate. When things are bad, he's not. He's also a guy who, whenever they were looking to bring in a backup quarterback, said that he was going to make that, that quarterback's life miserable. That ended up being Aaron Rodgers, so we kind of had to eat those words. But that's not a super mature guy. 
And then there's the Jake Hayner piece of it, where you did use a draft pick on Jake Hayner, and I think you're interested to see, could you grow Jake Hayner and mold him into a competent backup or even a starter in this league, and does that get stunted or displaced? But that goes back to the whole conversation around you're never just get, staying the same. You're always getting better or worse. So would bringing Zach Wilson in be a better option than Jake Hayner? Listen, the Nathan Peterman component of this offseason tell it answers the question about are you are you getting better or worse? You could just say we drafted Jake Hayner, we're rolling with him as our number two and to see what he can develop into. But the fact that you brought in Peterman tells you they're bringing in someone else with a little more veteran experience to challenge Jake Hayner, who also last year got popped for PEDs and was suspended. So I don't know that you can just say definitively because you used a four on Jake Hayner that he's going to be your backup and you're rolling with that. If you have an option to bring in someone who could be better, you give it a go. So the Jake Hayner thing I think we could look at as either a pro or a con. All that considered, what it comes down to me is – you have a chance to add a very talented young player at a cheap price, and you're not good anyway. Like, the Saints are projected to win total seven and a half. I mean, they're going to be a sub-500 team this year, I fear. They're going to miss the playoffs. They're going to fire Dennis Allen, and they're going to be looking for their future. So, would adding Zach Wilson dramatically affect that outcome for the the good or the bad? No. And if you take a flyer on a young, talented guy, maybe you like what you see, and it's someone you can use to build for the future. So if you could do it, I'd do it. Because I don't think the backups you have presently, like a year ago we're not even having this conversation. Because you had Carr and Jameis. We're not even having the conversation a year ago. But with Jameis now in Cleveland, and you don't really have a viable backup, and you could add a young, talented player and see if on his second act in the NFL, maybe he can mature, stabilize, and realize some of the physical ability, I'd kind of like to see what that looks like. And because it wouldn't cost you much, and you don't really have a lot on the line, why not? Go for it. So, yes, I would endorse the Saints for the right price. Trading for Zach Wilson. Okay. Can't believe I just said that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.